If you're using Advantage Plus shopping ad campaigns on Facebook or you're using Facebook ads to sell products, then there is a new feature that you have to take advantage of. In this video, I'm going to show you what it is and how to use it. So this feature only takes about 30 seconds or so to set up. It's really quick and easy and it might make a really big difference to your results. So let me show you how to do this. So I'm in an example Facebook ad account here. I'm in Ads Manager and I'm going to go ahead and click on these three little lines, all tools. And then I'm going to go into Ad Account Settings. Now, this is not business settings. So you can see I've got business settings up here in the shortcut business settings down there that's to manage my business account where I can add people or add accounts or or pixels or all sorts of things we want the settings specifically for this ad account so I've got it over here ad account settings if you don't have it um, lined up here on the left you'll have it somewhere down here in this menu okay so I'm going to go ahead and click on ad account settings and once we get into here we can then scroll down all the way to the bottom of this page and we've got this advantage plus shopping campaign section and in here we've got existing customers and what Meta says here is define your existing customers using custom audiences to receive additional insights about your Advantage Plus shopping campaign audiences. Okay, I'll explain more about that in a second. Now, what we can do here is we can basically let Meta know who our existing, our previous customers are, who has bought from us previously, okay? So we do that with custom audiences. So if you're not familiar with custom audiences, custom audiences are people who have interacted with our business before, and you can create all different types of custom audiences. You can create custom audiences out of website visitors, out of people on your email list, out of people who've watched your videos on Facebook, or in this case, out of people that have bought from you previously. So if you already have custom audiences set up, you can just come in here and select, for example, website purchases 180, um, which is gonna contain all the customers that have been registered and tracked um, that have bought from us within the last 180 days, which we've got set up in this example ad account. Now, this now lets Meta know who has bought from us previously, which if you think about how important that is, particularly with advantage shopping campaigns where you don't have hardly any control over targeting and you're very much letting Meta decide who to put your ads in front of, if Meta knows who's bought from you previously, that's gonna massively shortcut the optimization process and allow Meta to work out who best to put your ads in front of going forward. You're likely to get better results. You're likely to get better results faster because instead of Meta having to work out from everyone they could possibly advertise to who is likely to buy, who is likely to be interested, they can be like, aha, we've already got this data set, we can use this, we can um, extrapolate from that people that are very similar, we can advertise to those effectively an inbuilt lookalike audience, something along those lines, and you are likely to, as I said, shortcut that path to campaign optimization and to better results, which with Advantage Plus Shopping, when you are not in control of the targeting, you're trusting Meta with that, you want them to have as much information and as good a data on that as possible. And if you haven't already created custom audiences that include your previous customers, um, then I strongly recommend you do so for this feature, if not for, for any other reasons. And you can actually go ahead and click on this create new button and that will allow you to create custom audiences um, from within here as opposed to going into the audiences tab. If you're not familiar with custom audiences and how they work and the setup and all that sort of stuff, I've created a, a detailed tutorial that shows you exactly how to do that. I'll include a link in the uh, video description below so you can go ahead and check that out and get this set up. A lot of advertisers have previously not set up custom audiences um, that include previous customers because they think, what's the point in retargeting those people they've already bought from me before, they'll buy again, they're on my email list, etc., etc. I think that logic's flawed. I think you do want to advertise to people who have bought from you previously to get them to buy again, to remind them of your products and services, so they're more likely to recommend it to other people, but a lot of advertisers disagree with that. But even if you are in that camp where you don't want to specifically retarget previous customers, you absolutely want to get those custom audiences set up that include your previous customers so that you can um, provide Meta with this data. And that could massively improve your Advantage Plus shopping campaigns, particularly if you've got new campaigns or you're operating within a relatively new ad account. Very quickly, I've got some really exciting news. I've launched a new mentorship program to help you explode your business revenue and profits through paid ads and marketing. Now, in this mentorship program, myself and my team will mentor you daily, literally every single working day. And because of that spots are very limited. So if you're interested, you can click on a link in the video description below and book a call with one of my team members who can explain everything about the mentorship program and how it works. I'm really, really excited about this and I hope to be working with you and mentoring you very soon. So the custom audience that I've added in here is the example within this example ad account is website purchase 180. So that's based off pixel data, people who have triggered the purchase conversion event within the last 180 days and that can be tracked. Now that in this scenario, if we'd been running campaigns for that whole time period and we'd have the the pixel set up during that time period as well, Meta would already have a lot of this data with this type of custom audience. Um, so adding this in would still be beneficial. There's no reason not to do so. It literally takes 30 seconds, as I've said, but it's not going to be as beneficial as some other types of custom audiences that you might be able to, to get set up. So if you've got 
previous customers, existing customers that um, bought more than the time in which Meta can track, so more in this case than 180 days ago, um, then Meta's not gonna have that data unless you upload that as a custom audience. It could be like a, a customer file custom audience, it could be on a, an email list that you import from MailChimp, for example. So you absolutely want to make sure you set up those custom audiences and get that data in there. You may also have purchases that are coming from other sources that are not being tracked by Meta, right? If you're running other types of marketing, you've been advertising a long time, any, any data that you have on people that have bought from you, that are customers, that are representative of the people that you want to advertise to going forward, Forward, absolutely create custom audiences in any size, whether it's pixel data led or customer file, whatever type of custom audience. And again, if you're not familiar with any of those, go ahead and check out that custom audience um, tutorial because that'll clear a lot of this up if you're thinking, what, how, custom audiences, different types? That, that'll clear it all up. But you wanna make as many of those custom audiences as possible, get as many people who have bought from you previously in those lists, upload it into Meta, and then add these in here as your existing customers, custom audience into this Advantage Plus shopping campaign feature. You know, I've just added the one, but you can go ahead and add in um, a whole bunch, particularly with new ad accounts. That is gonna be so helpful for Meta in working out who's bought from you previously, therefore who they should be advertising to going forward. It's gonna help uh, your results and help the campaigns optimize. Now, another thing that I wanted to highlight was around this information that Meta gives around why you should go ahead and, and set this up and, and take this step. And that's where they say, you wanna do this to receive additional insights about your Advantage Plus shopping campaign audiences. Now, what Meta have told us is they're gonna provide more data around things like Advantage Plus shopping campaigns. And they're going to tell us what percentage of our ads was put in front of existing customers retargeting versus what percentage of ads was put in front of genuinely cold audiences. Now, I don't have that yet within an ad account to be able to show you. Hopefully I'll get it very soon. I will do once I, once I get it. But um, one of the really interesting things about that is that we tend to find that with things like Advantage Plus shopping campaigns, they tend to be quite retargeting heavy. They wanna get you the best results possible. They know that they can do that with warm audiences. And that is one of the concerns that some advertisers have around Advantage Plus shopping is that they do retarget too much and they can often get really good results for a short time period. But once you sort of burn through those warm audiences and then you're advertising to almost exclusively cold audiences, results can tend to drop off. Now, what will likely happen is that as Meta brings in um, features to give us more data around and who are we advertising to within our Advantage Plus shopping? Uh, existing customers primarily, cold audiences primarily, a mixture of the two, what's the mixture? Is that we as advertisers are likely to get more control and be able to dictate to Meta, look, I actually think you're favoring existing customers and retargeting too much. I'd like you to spend a higher proportion of the budget on new customer acquisition. Google, for example, already has this as an option. Meta's in the process of, of rolling this out in various ways. It's like a customer acquisition feature that I'll talk about um, once it's been rolled out more. But I think that that could be really helpful for a lot of advertisers, particularly those that get frustrated that Meta is just advertising to warm audiences too much within features like Advantage Plus Shopping and they want more control. So getting this set up is also going to help us move in that direction. It's going to help give you more data very shortly and then hopefully those features will come uh, later down the line. As an agency, we're using Advantage Plus products like Advantage Plus Shopping more and more. And another Advantage Plus feature that we're using a lot is Advantage Plus Audience, which is a game changer when it comes to Facebook ads targeting. In this video here, I show you exactly how Advantage Plus Audience works. I also explain when you want to use it and how to get the most out of it.